Uh, good morning. Well, I've just done a three hour drive and I've just arrived here at Spoon Point. It's a place I've been before. And it's a wonderful place for doing black and white long exposures. Loads of compositions to be had, lots of interesting places. So I've just arrived to get across before you get cut off by the tide. So years ago you used to be able to get across but uh, these days once high tide comes you're stuck on sperm point until the tide recedes a bit. So hopefully I've timed it to get across and I can get on to sperm and start doing some black and white photography. See you later. Last time I came here, which was about five years ago, there used to be buildings and a car park here. You've got to walk a little bit further now to get to the sperm point. You can see the power of nature, which in a massive storm five years ago came across this little uh, road that used to be able to go down and totally washed it away in the little buildings and car park that was here. So you've got to respect nature. I've got to get across here before the tide cuts me off. And I'll be stuck on the island for a few hours before I can get back. So see you later. Well, let's hope we get some decent photographs, do some decent photography, and enjoy yourselves at Spur Point. Here's what remains of the road. See the seas wash around it and totally uh, destroyed it. The force of nature. So you got to respect the conditions. You got to respect nature and do as you're sold. There's a sign up there saying keep left, so we keep left. As you can see, you've got some really nice groins and nice structures in the water. They can do some really good black and white compositions from some nice trail backs on the beach which gives you texture in your foreground etc they can con construct interesting compositions from here at Spoon Point it's an excellent place to do black and white long exposure photography with loads and loads of compositions so hopefully I can get some really good interesting shots today when you're walking round here on Spoon Point, you've got to uh, observe the rules. Make sure you don't watch, check the tide times. Make sure you don't get cut off. It's a bit of a walk along the causeway here. So make sure you're in plenty of time to get on or to get off the Spoon and observe the rules and don't let people come out looking to rescue you. Observe what's happening and observe the rules. Let's get taking some pictures. See you later. I'm just taking a composition here using these groins. So it's going to do about 45 second exposure using a Firecrest 10 stop. And uh, let's see what we can get. If it's any good, you can see it now. Pull it up now. Hopefully, you get some decent. It's surprising how our location changes. I came here about well, five years ago and shot this groin behind me. I'll show you the picture where I took now. Poseidon's net. Call it that, obviously, because of the net that's on the groin. But 
It's an excellent location for black and white fine art photography. And when you get the tide right, you can take some excellent pictures. I would have preferred a bit better sky, the sky is a bit bright, but as we know, in Photoshop we can always cheat. But I'll probably end up taking an Ike image of this shot to see what we can get. And if it's any good, you'll see it now. Cheers. Taking this shot now, using this lobster pot and these groins, an F16, uh, F8, probably be about three minutes of a shot and hopefully you get some nice uh, misty seas going around the uh, structures and give me a really nice shot. Getting some nice light now, shooting this groin, shooting it with the uh, 16 stop uh, i tech firecrest uh, on uh, f stop 6.5. So, uh, taking about 70 seconds of an exposure in this light, uh, I'm getting some really nice long exposures which will re look really good in uh, when I get them back on the computer. Anyway, you can see this shot now. Just getting some uh, nice shots using the uh, Lobster pot and the groins in the background and the sea and that as it recedes away. Taking the different exposure times, I select the best one and show it you. This shot with this groin behind me. Uh, took it using uh, the the cloud covers moved in now. The sun's gone behind the clouds, so I've took the uh, 16 f uh, 16 stop off and gone back to the uh, five crest 10 stop now. Just took a long exposure on f 18 30 seconds on this groin. Turns out to be a really nice image. I'll just show you on the back of the uh, back of the. Turns out to be a nice image on the looking on the back of the camera. Yeah, I'll show you better on the computer when I get it back on. Quite a good shot. I'm heading for this pool of water here. It's just there is the there's a lighthouse at the end of Sperm Point. I want to use that water, but hopefully when I get there it's going to have some nice reflections of the lighthouse in it. And hopefully it will give me an interesting composition and make a successful black and white photograph. Just shot this picture now using this pool and the groins and that cloud and the lighthouse. So it's better 35 second exposure, long exposure. Got a nice shot, so I'll show you it now, see what you think.
just found a really good minimalist composition using these posts. This little rock and this post here with a line going through it make a really good, interesting minimalist composition. So I'll take it now and see how it turns out, see what it looks like. See you later. never fail sperm point when you come here there's always compositions to be had using this pool here probably has been leading in line with this light different layers of the sand leading me into the lighthouse nice reflection in the lighthouse you make an excellent black and white photograph just that little bit of cloud above it just to top it off you've got the perfect black and white scene I think this is a water tower. That's at the end of Sperm Point. I don't think it's a lighthouse or anything. I think it's some old water tower to do with uh, when it was uh, a battery station during the First World War. But it makes an interesting composition. It makes a really good uh, long exposure photography. So let's see what I can get. And if it's any good, you can see it now. using this jetty F11 um, I saw one in about a 30 second exposure just to flatten it to see just a bit of a new to the cloud see what we get we'll get back in the computer see you later Well, it's just a, just had a good hike back from the uh, from the lighthouse, which is uh, I think it was three point something miles, another about half a mile to go before I get back to my car. So had an enjoyable day at Spurn Point. Place I've been a few times. And it's a, a place you can come back to because you never get the same shots because with the erosion. Of the of the bank, the no, the uh, compositions change all the time. I'll, I'll show you some compositions that I took on previous occasions, which you can't shoot no more because they don't exist because they've been washed away by the sea. So if you've enjoyed this uh, this video, uh, please click the subscribe button for my next adventures, and I'll see you later.